Welcome to the Music City, Nashville, Tennessee, where the Boston Bruins will start the final leg of the grueling NHL regular season with a game against the playoff-bound Predators. to Hockey Talk. Thank you for being here, both of you. Of course, yeah, I'm happy to be here. Thanks for having us. Morgan Geeky is not only a talented hockey player, he's also a talented guitarist. Country music artist and NHL Network host Cole Bradley has invited him to collaborate on a new tune with songwriter and Bruins fan, Matt Roy. So Morgan, what do you want to write about? Um, yeah, so my idea was, um, you know, being a hockey player, trying to find a place called home for us and and um, settle down and be able to, to set some roots somewhere and, and um, you know, just start uh, start growing our family even more. I love it. Sounds like a country song. Right? Yeah. I love Perfect. it. Perfect. It's great. <laughs> Show me what you're thinking, yeah. Maybe just like a... Start there, maybe. Kind of feels like you're moving in one direction, doesn't it? Yeah. Kind of... Maybe back to G. Perfect. I'm gonna just start jotting down yeah. some lyrics, if that's all right. Can we go back to G there? Like G, C, G? in the grand sea, down, boom. Right back on the one there. Lots of good vibes and creative juices flowing in the studio today, so before too long, Matt and Morgan have a rough cut of something called Back Home. You gotta be honest with me. Tell me, and tell me if it's good or not. All this running is with me, running on empty, running myself in the ground. I ain't getting young, this world ain't standing still. I think it's about time I turn these old leaves back home. The little ways from a fast interstate. There's a girl that waits, front porch all alone, back home. Right now, the only thing I really want to do is get back home. Get back home. Nice, dude. Nice work. Nice. Crush it. Yeah. That's great. Crush it. Let's do it. Yeah. Easy. Nashville is a fun place to visit, but soon it's back to business for Morgan Geeky and the boys. It's a tight game against the Preds with great goaltending on both sides. This one feels a lot like the playoffs, and after two periods, it's still scoreless. You know it's gonna be a good game. Zero zero hockey game. It's always like this here, boys. We always get that one. Yeah, we don't break in our game. We oh, break boy. first, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Stick to it. That's right. Do not lose your patience here, okay? It's zero zero, okay? Seen guys start to lose their patience, okay? But we gotta win the odd man rushes. We gotta win the ozone time. We just talked about that, okay? And lastly, in the first period, we're first on Fox. That period, we we're second a lot, and that's why we were in our end. Maybe first on Fox. So Slew foot, man. Yeah! Boy, sees. Hi, Marsh. Charlie Coyle's shorthanded goal breaks the deadlock and opens the door for the Boston offense, while Linus Allmark shuts down the Predators with 31 saves for a hard-fought 3-0 win on the road. That's it, Marsh. Starts with you, boy. Great job. What's the name? Thank you. Cool, that one. Yeah. Oh, it's nice getting only six. Great, great win with us. Pasta, obviously, Coyle. Final, 
The Bruins are in Raleigh, North Carolina, where they will face another playoff-bound team, the Carolina Hurricanes, and where Captain Brad Marchand is looking to reach a milestone with career goal number 400. Marshawn's historic goal fires up Jesper Boquist and the rest of the team as they score twice more in the first and keep the pressure on Carolina. Let's go, boys. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, patience, patience, hey, boys. Solid defense and great goaltending as the Bruins protect their lead and finish the road trip with a satisfying win over the Hurricanes, along with a memorable milestone for the captain. That's a, a gutsy win. It goes a lot of guys' way. Great job. Uh, if he cares. But this guy's been our engine throughout this uh, whole career. You know what? It's 400 goal tonight. Oh. Game boys, uh, money set up, but uh, the way we've been closing our games is, is what we need to do down the stretch here. It's a great job tonight. Let's keep it going. Yeah. Back in Boston, the Florida Panthers are in town for a game between the top two teams in the Atlantic Division. In the Bruins room, video coach Matt Myers has a special message for the boys. Perfect that we got these shirts uh, tonight, the boys, because of the culture that you guys have established in here. I know if anyone's ever said anything to me or has done anything, you guys would all have my back. And I think tonight's a good opportunity for us to prove not only to the Eastern Conference, but to the league, that we stand up for each other. And how we do that is just by being physical tonight, playing our brand of hockey. That's it. Thanks, man. He's, uh... The Bruins and Panthers have battled in some old-time hockey games the past several years, and tonight is no exception. However, Coach Montgomery has his team prepared for this physical matchup. Here we go, boys! All four lines, wave after wave, here we go! Not loud, stay on it! Do! Do! Gotta hold the red there, boys! That's the way to hold the ozone, D-man! There we go! Yeah. Ampus, way to hold the zone on that goal. Territorially, we've had this period. Keep supporting each other. After the first period, Coach Montgomery and his staff gather to review video, evaluate their team's performance, and figure out strategy for the rest of the game. We stuck together well that period. We were in every battle together. All right, there are these bump backs. Rewind this. They beat us to the end wall on every one of them. We could have bumped back there. We want to get glued to it, but I think just we're going to have D2 yell yes or no. Okay, here are a couple of things, okay, um, structurally. We're going to create turnovers, and now we're going to have possession, okay? Besides that, I love the way we stuck together, okay, out there. And the last thing, hey, power play didn't have any success. Who gives a don't let our power play affect our five-on-five five play and lose our attitude and our energy because we were the better team five-on-five, five, okay? Now let's take them over in the second period. Power play, it's where we need you here, right? Florida ties things up in the third period, prompting Coach Montgomery to make some in-game adjustments. Let's go, let's go. Oh, 
After 60 hard-fought minutes, the Bruins and Panthers are tied at two. Now, Jim Montgomery and his group are on to overtime to determine a winner. Stay with it here. We need everyone. That's how we got here. Bogvist, go take Heinen. JD, stay. Be ready on your changes. Black and gold, good win. Bokefist, hell of a job, Bok. Out of way. Right? Way to stay with it. It was one of those games where not everyone got a lot of ice because of all the special teams and how slow the faceoffs were and the matchups and stuff. But way to stick together, okay? Enjoy your uh, night, enjoy your day off. We'll see you Monday at Warrior, okay? 11 o'clock. Good job, boys. As the Bruins arrive at TD Garden for tonight's game with Carolina, some special guests are joining them. Puppies who are up for adoption from the MSPCA. Puppies! Yes! <laughs> We're built the same. <laughs> I got the best one. This one's coming home, boys. I don't know. Say hi. Wow. Look at that. Oh, good boy. <laughs> she wouldn't leave Brando. Oh. Yeah, nobody wants to leave Brando. It's like a birthday ever. <laughs> this is unbelievable. After losing to Carolina at home, the Bruins are on to Pittsburgh, where Hampus Lindholm and the boys face a Penguins team that needs a win to stay in the playoff picture. Let's go, Chris! Time, time! Find you! Hey! Wow. Great play, yeah, great pass. I need to try to find a way to rip it, even though it's not perfect. Keep being aggressive there, boys. Great job, boys! Great play! What a play! Great play, bro! Yeah, you too, baby. Brad Marchand's shorthander gives Boston a three-goal lead. However, the Bruins don't expect the Penguins to lay down easy knowing they need points to stay in the playoff hunt. Hey, keep making plays, boys. See, you see what happens. You see it? Ah, oh, that's it. Good save. You see it, right? Yeah. A lot of tennis. That's it, boys. Great job. That's you, Shady. That's you, baby. Morgan Geeky makes it a two-goal cushion for Boston. Then Danton Heinen ices it with the empty netter as the Bruins continue pushing hard towards the playoffs. Come on, Peeker. Hey, how are we going to have a mask? Good job. Good game, baby. Great job, fellas. Uh, welcome, Rick. Venus, great job, name a few, but say hi now. Ah! Yeah, game boys, way to stick with it. Good first one, Reed. Uh, oh, that was a group. Oh. <laughs> and uh, congrats, Denver Pioneers National Champions. Oh! The Bruins are in Washington, D.C. for the final road game of the season, and where the big rig, Pat Maroon, is ready for action in his second game wearing the spoke B. 
Get it in, go to work. Back of the nets, boys. Behind, behind! Yeah, yeah, peace. It's a low-scoring defensive game, and the Caps carry a 1-0 lead into the third period, where number 61 and the Bruins make a final push to try and tie this one up. Hey, this way! This way! Come on, boys, we got way better! Let's keep going here! Boston gets some chances, but can't break through. Washington scores the late empty netter to seal the game, and it's a disappointing 2-0 loss for the Bruins. That's on us tonight. Good game, buddy. Right, you Keep your head up. Thanks, baby. The 2023-24 regular season comes to a close at TD Garden tonight. And high above the ice, Bruins play-by-play -play announcer Jack Edwards is preparing for this game just as he has for the past 19 years on Nesson. Boston Bruins Hockey on Nesson is brought to you by... But it's a bittersweet moment for the veteran broadcaster this evening as he has officially announced his retirement. <laughs> Boston Globe breaking news alert. Congratulations. <laughs> They're making a big deal out of me. <laughs> You're a big deal. <laughs> hey, Spook. You're the best, buddy. Thanks. Congrats. Thank you for everything. And I will see you soon again. Thank you. You bet. Thank you, Jack. See you. I'll be a Bruin forever. That I know. Yeah. <laughs> for this. Ah, come on. Uh, How's that going? Uh, who's having more fun than us, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very good, thanks. This is Cam. Thanks. 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 Having my back on those phone calls from the NHL. <laughs> That's right. Along with the good wishes of his co workers and friends, Jack will also be honored by the Bruins in a special pre game ceremony. Well-deserved recognition for Jack, but before he heads upstairs to call the game, there's one more job to do. Announce this year's seventh player award. Voted on by the fans, it's given annually to the unsung hero of the Bruins team. The 2024 seventh player award goes to Trent Frederick. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Trent. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and enjoy tonight's game. All right. Pavel Zaka's late goal turns out to be the only Boston highlight in this one as Ottawa wins it. But the night isn't over. It's time for the annual Shirts Off Their Backs event that ends the Bruins' regular season. Nice to meet you. That's how you got mine. Tough drawing. One away from swimming. I'm happy with you.
As the regular season ends, there are a few brief moments to reflect on what has been a truly remarkable centennial year for your Boston Bruins. However, all thoughts now quickly turn to the coming playoffs and the chase for Lord Stanley's Cup.